Hey YouTube fam, what's up? It's Patrick. I hope you are having an amazing day. Welcome to a core strength vinyasa flow session. As usual for this practice, all you need is yourself and your practice space. After the journey, if you enjoyed the session, like the video, leave a comment, let me know how it went for you. Always cool to interact with all of you in that space. And of course, if you're looking for more longer form sessions with me, you can practice with me on KamiNyogaStudio.com. I release two new classes there every single week. Well, that being said, let's get into our session here. Here. Be in this moment, challenge yourself, push yourself, have as much fun along the way as you can muster. We will start in child's pose as usual. So sit your hips back towards your heels, drop your heart down a little bit, find some softness to the space you're entering. Be with your breath. Begin the process of being with your breath. Find a simple connection to it, whether that's just I'm acknowledging the inhale and acknowledging the exhale, or I'm feeling the inhale move through my back body, feeling the exhale allow me to drop down into the space. With everything, you can make it as simple or as complicated as you need it to be. Our goal is to honor that and to create a balance for ourselves along the way. Go ahead and pull yourself into hands and knees. As usual, circle the shoulders over the wrists a few times so you're feeling a buoyancy, a vibrancy to the movement, to shifting, connecting. Beginning the process of reawakening your physical system. And then when your hands feel good, go ahead and step back to plank pose. And of course, because this is a core strength class, we need to get into our core pretty straight away. So go ahead and walk your hands forward a little bit. Dig your toes into the floor and try to lean your collarbones out. Anytime this happens, we tend to want to lift the hips up. See if you can lower the hips down, lift the collarbones up, activating the glutes and lifting through your front body. So there's a real connection, a real space for stability here. Try to hold this position. Try to grip through the fingers a little bit more. Trust the space you find yourself in. Two more breaths here. We're almost done, I promise. But of course, there will be something to follow. When you're ready, or when you can, drop your forearms to the floor, forearm plank. As you get to this forearm plank, take your nose over your thumbs. Even the shortened stance if you need to. Try to drop your hips down and then fill the space up in between your shoulder blades. So it's like the hips again are dropping down and you're filling up through the upper body a little bit. This time going in the opposite direction before we were lengthening the collarbones out. This time I want you to try to push down through the forearms, filling the space in between your shoulder blades, doing your best to engage your core. And then from here, lower your chest down to the forearms and then push and lift it up. Lower down and lift, lower down, lift. Take this a few more times. We'll go five, four, three, two, one. Hold your top position here. Really stay active in your feet. Stay engaged in your mindset. And then lower your hips to the ground. Lift the heart up, pull your body through. Create a little bit more front body elevation. Let your breath allow you to lift through the collarbones just a bit. Finding the softness of sphinx pose, the opening through the front body, a wonderful counter to the core work. Go ahead and release your chest down to the ground. Set your fingertips up, oscillating cobra pose. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lift. Lengthen. Elevate through the chest. Hold. Release. Of course, to strengthen our core, we must also wake up the back body. So push your hips down. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Elevate. Reach long through your fingertips, lift through the feet. Find a steadiness here. Keep lifting the feet up higher, 
squeezing your shoulder blades together. Exhale, release. Set your hands as you would for Chaturanga. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, rise up to plank pose. Push your hips back, downward facing dog. Use some of that core strength you found in the beginning of the practice to create more length in your downward facing dog. Length comes from the spine here, and then it permeates into the hamstrings. So we really want to create the first long line of energy from wrists to hips. Inhale, roll forwards into your plank pose. And exhale, push back into dog. Inhale, roll forwards into plank pose. And exhale, push back into dog. One more time, inhale, roll forwards into plank pose. And exhale, push back into dog. Inhale, your right leg lift, stretch it up towards the sky. Find side plank on your left hand, rolling into that side plank. Reach your right arm up to the sky, and then wrap your right hand behind your back. Pull your right knee into the chest. Step your right foot all the way forward, push into it. Lift your left foot off the ground. Reach your right hand forward as you sit down, low boat pose. Inhale in the low boat. Exhale, close and rise. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Going here, we'll go for 15 more. So 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, on one. Hold your high boat pose. Really try to lift your chest up more. Kick your feet higher. Feel all that energy. And then we'll rewind the position. Squeeze your right heel towards your butt. Plant your left hand down. Swing your left foot back in space as the right foot plants. Roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Take your right foot up to the sky. Side plank. Pushing into your left thumb. And then three-legged dog. Your right leg lifts. Inhale as you get there. On your exhale, step right foot up to your right thumb. Lower your left knee down, Anjane Asana. Inhale, reach your hands towards the sky. Stretch through the fingers. Really try to dig your left big toe into the floor, pushing your left hip forward. On your exhale, fingertips the floor. Drive your hips up and back. Fold over a straightening right leg. Bend your right knee. Creep your right foot forward, so just wiggle it out. It's kind of an awkward movement. And then rise up into lunge. So I want you in a lunge where the right ankle is well in front of your right knee. Reach your arms up to the sky here. Try to sit your hips lower. So you're digging your left big toe into the floor, reaching up through your fingers, sitting your hips down and in, creating a, an awareness and a connection to this depth. Lifting up, really feeling the reach, engaging your core, trusting your breath. Find some steadiness here. Feel the stability. On your exhale, hands to the floor, step on back, three-legged dog. Inhale, roll forwards the plank pose. Let your right knee touch your right tricep and then reach your right foot back in space as you move through your vinyasa. From downward facing dog, inhale, lift your left leg up to the sky. And then begin to roll to the outer edge of the right foot, finding side plank. Reach your left arm up. Keep pushing through the right thumb. Wrap your left arm behind your back. Pull your left knee into your chest. Look forward. Step the left foot all the way up to the top of the mat. Maybe you go as slowly as possible. Be deliberate. As it lands, reach your left arm forward. Swing your right leg through the window. Sit all the way down. Low boat pulse. From your low boat this time, bring your hands behind the skull. Left elbow to right knee. Connect and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, 
and switch one, go for 20, 19, keep your shoulders lifted, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, open up low boat pose. Rise the high boat pose again. Kick your feet towards the sky. Lift your chest up higher. Feel all this front body activation. Then we'll rewind the position. Squeeze left heel to butt. Plant right hand and left foot down. Thread your right foot back through. Find your way to side plank with your left leg lifted. Feel the kick. Feel the push. Three-legged dog. Your left leg lifts. Inhale there. On your exhale, left foot up to your left thumb. Let your right knee lower. Inhale, Anjane Asana. And opening through the front body. Feel the reach. The length, the lift. More space. On your exhale, hands to floor. Right knee lifts, left leg straightens, fold over your left shin. Allow your body to melt down here, taking a moment. Bend your left knee. As you get there, just as we did on the other side, wiggle your left foot forward. Try to get it to the edge of the mat. Spike into your right big toe just a bit more, and then rise up to high lunge. Your core is engaged. Your hips are low. You're reaching through your fingers and trying to create some depth here. Trying to find your energy, pushing into your right heel, reaching up through your hands, trusting your strength. Notice where you feel strong, calm, capable. Exhale, hands to floor, three-legged dog. Your left leg lifts, reach it up and away. On your exhale, roll forward, left knee. Finds left tricep. And then stretch your left leg back as you. Vinyasa. Everything moves. Everything connects. Your breath and body create the boundary, create the foundation for the practice, for your soul, for your connection. Inhale, your right leg lifts. Side plank on the left hand. You know what's coming. More core work. Feel your side body coming alive first. Pull your right knee into your chest. Step your right foot all the way forward. Thread your left foot through. Sit down. Low boat pose. From low boat pose this time, hands by hips, lower shoulders and skull to floor. Reach your right leg up to the sky and pulse your hips for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch left foot high, right foot low. Pulse 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one right foot mirrors the left, both feet are high. Pull your knees in towards your collarbones. Really try to engage your lower belly, squeezing the knees together. And then C curve the spine, lift your shoulders and skull off the ground. Now drive the feet forward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Low boat pose, high boat pose. Lifting up, you can feel your front body lifted, elevated, core strong. Left hand plants, right heel squeezes the butt before it plants. Thread your left foot back through. Rewind to side plank, pushing into the left thumb as you reach through your right hand. And then plant your right hand as you find three-legged dog. Inhale. On your exhale, right foot journeys up to your right thumb. Left knee lowers. Anjane Asana, again, opening through the front body. Find the reach. Feel tall. Feel spacious. Exhale, hands to floor. 
Push your hips up and back as you fold over your right shin. Bend your right knee. Crawl the right foot forward. Crawl the left foot back, maybe. Find a really long position. Lunge. Lifting up. So obviously you got to really work through the right heel. The left leg is naturally going to do its thing. It's going to have to fight the good fight. Trust your breath. Honor the space you find yourself in. Try to stay connected. Try to stay intuitive. Exhale. Release. Hands to floor. Three-legged dog. Your right leg lifts. Same as before, wave your body forward, right knee creates a connection with right tricep before you reach back and vinyasa. Building core strength everywhere we go today. As you make it back, your left leg stretches to the sky. Cruise to the outer edge of the right foot, side plank, driving through your right thumb. Pull your left knee into the chest, and again, the slowest possible step up to the top of the mat. Let your left foot land and then thread your right foot all the way through. Low boat pose. As you find your low boat pose, this will be our last time here today. Reach your arms up and overhead. Push your chest towards the sky. Allow your hands to be heavy, finding a stable place to be. For 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, on one high, bolt pose, lift yourself up, long spine, knees pushing in, core engaged, feel the burn, I'm definitely in the mix of it. Squeeze your left heel to the butt. Plant your right hand down. Thread your right foot back through. Side plank on your right hand. Feel long. Strong connected. And then three-legged dog. Your left leg lifts. Inhale there. On your exhale, left foot cruises up to your left thumb. Right knee lowers. Anjane asana. Find your long position first. Really reach up through your fingers. Try to get tall. And then push your hips forward a bit. Notice where your breath moves. Notice where you feel space. And then exhale. Release from the position. Push your hips back in spaces your hands. Find the floor. You melt down. Bend your left knee. Crawl your left foot as far forward as possible. Maybe wiggle your right foot back a touch. The long lunge is yours. Again, lifting through your front body. Stretching up through your fingers. Trying to let your hips get a bit lower here. Use your core to try to tuck your tailbone slightly. That will bring something to the pose, I promise you. Hold yourself here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, on 1. Hands to floor, three-legged dog. Your left leg lifts, inhale. On your exhale, left knee drives up to left tricep. And you, vinyasa. As you finish here, make your way back into down dog. Feel your core strength. Try to push your hips up and away. Moving through awakening B. Inhale your right leg lifts. Exhale right foot 
to right thumb. Rise into double bent leg lunge. Feel your core everywhere we go. Exhale, straighten through your left leg. Hands to the heart center, they pull you forward. Crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten through your right leg. Bend right knee, left foot steps to starting position. Thumbs base of skull. Inhale, reach your hands. Somewhere new you get long. Exhale, hands to floor. Three-legged dog. Inhale, pull yourself through. Upward facing dog. Exhale, wave yourself back. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, left foot travels to left thumb. Rise, double bent leg lunge. Reach through your fingers. Exhale, straighten through your right leg, any capacity. Inhale, hands to heart center, lean yourself out, crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten through your left leg. Bend your left knee. Right foot journeys to starting position, thumbs to base of skull. Inhale, stretch and reach. Somewhere new, get long, get elevated. Exhale, hands to floor, three-legged dog. Inhale, pull your body through, upward facing dog. Exhale, wave yourself back, downward facing dog. Last round here, be in your breath, be in your body. Inhale, your right leg lifts. Exhale, right foot to right thumb. Double bent leg lunge lifts you up. Exhale, drive to straighten through your left leg. Hands the heart sensor, pull yourself forward, crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten through your right leg. Bend the right knee. Left foot journeys to start. Thumbs base of skull. Inhale, reach somewhere new. Exhale, hands the floor. Three legged dog. Inhale, upward facing dog. You open, exhale downward, facing dog, you close. Inhale, left leg lifts, exhale left foot to left thumb. Double bent leg lunge, you rise. Exhale, drive to straighten through your right leg. Inhale, pull your body forwards, crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten through your left leg. Bend the left knee, right foot steps to its starting position. Thumbs to base of skull. Inhale, reach up and away. Exhale, hands to floor. Three-legged dog. Your left leg lifts. Inhale, pull yourself through. Upward facing dog. Exhale, cruise on back. Downward facing dog. As you get here, drop the knees to the floor. Sit your hips back in space. Melt to your child's pose. Let this be a grounding position for you. Let this be the last position of our practice. If you prefer to take something like frog pose, kick the feet out a little bit wider, kick the knees out a little bit wider, and fold into it, right? Whatever feels good to you. Lean into your stretch sensation. Find something that's calm. something that's grounding. It can be nice in the closing of a practice to have the structure of a pose, something that doesn't require much of you, because it allows you to stay immersed and to complete the journey, if you will. Shavasana has its time, and it's a wonderful space to lean into. But for some of these shorter sessions, it can be really nice to just give yourself the opportunity to close with the framework of an asana, to close with a little bit of a sensation for your body, allowing you to breathe through that sensation. And then over time, it dissipates and you can begin to melt into uh, this beautiful deep state of calm that you can carry with you throughout the rest of your day. As always, truly such a pleasure to share space with you here on YouTube. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. New classes and content coming your way all the time. If you enjoyed this session, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know how it went for you.
I look forward to practicing with you very soon. Nourish yourself in this moment as long as you need to and have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.